Okay guys, it's me Imad from Nelson Darwin Park Tech YouTube channel. In this video tutorial, we will learn about how to use the counter block within the logism. As we know that counters are used to count to a certain value and then we can have certain flag or certain bit to be set so that we can uh, get our output. So, in order to use the counter in Logisim, we need to first drag the counter block to the main window. Now, counter is in the main working window, and you can see that we have first pin is load pin, the second pin is data pin, the third pin is count, fourth one is clock and clear, and carry an output. So there are around three, four, five, six, and seven pins. Okay, before going to explain all the functionalities, I will just use to connect the corresponding logic states or probes, logic probes to the counter for your better understanding. This is D, and we have to make it 8 bit. Also, like this, and The last one is carry, okay? Okay, now all the inputs uh, and outputs are one bit except the data and output. Both are 8 bit is, acor is according to the timer because our, sorry, counter because counter is of 8 bit. Now what will happen? There is data input which is of 8 bit. You can see with the cursor and there is output which is obviously of 8 data bit. Or 8 bit data. Okay, now first is the load pin. So, what is the function of it? You have to make it 1. Why it is so? Because when you make it enable, that is 1, then only our data can be transferred to the output. So, now I will make the data is 10. So, now you can see that on trigger of the clock, our Input our input is going to the output. Okay, so you can see it. Now when we make it zero, nothing is going to happen. Okay. It is the clock pulse. The the pulse which we are using is actually the clock pulse. Okay, now we will make it one. We we, we need to make it one one. Now you can see that we got 0, 03 in our counter. Now, when we used to make this as 1, you can see that when count is getting bit 1, now we are going to decrease. Now we are going to decrease the value of the counter on every tick of the clock. Here you can see that our carry is. One after we, we, we surpasses the threshold that is a zero zero. Now okay, so so we need to make it clear. Okay, again if if you if you do not have like uh, if you if your concept is not clear, then again I, I used to repeat that. What will happen? This pulse that is CT is actually CT is count, and this pulse this is the clock. This one is clock pulse. So whenever we we give a trigger that is zero and one to the clock, so either uh, rising or falling edge will trigger an action. Okay, will trigger an action. Like you can see that it it, it is now decreasing with one. Okay, F7 to F6 and F5 and all this. Okay, and we can make it clear with this clear pin. Now. 
now we will start from uh, beginning now we will write 0 triple 1 now I think it is for 7 so we will make it load as 1 so our data will be able to load to the what's called as the counter now we will now you can see that our our counter got 0 7 because it is 7 and 0 now it is 0 now it is 0 that is count is 0 so what will happen nothing is going to happen now we will make it 1 and you you, you got that our now our counter is decrement is decrementing or decrements yeah yeah like okay and after it becomes 0 0 then it gives us 1 on the carry so this is a very basic concept for to operate the counter within the logism so hopefully you got the concept don't forget to subscribe and thanks for visiting our channel